Strange apparitions and phantom travellers bring the spiral team to investigate a Surrey beauty spot. What does lurk within the woodland of Box Hill? An area of outstanding natural beauty in the popular region of the North Downs, Box Hill stands 172 metres above sea level and stands proudly over the towns of Tadworth and Dorking. Since 1914, the hill has been owned and managed by the National Trust. The Pilgrim's Way passes through the hill, an old pathway that stretches from Winchester to Canterbury and was used by pilgrims to visit the shrine of Thomas a Becket at Canterbury Cathedral. John Logie Baird, the inventor of the first working television system, lived at Swiss Cottage for a time and conducted some of his early experiments here. But does Box Hill hold any paranormal activity? Assorted apparitions have been seen in the area, including weary pilgrims stumbling over the stepping stones that cross the River Mole and a phantom rider galloping across the landscape at night. But it's the many reports of a strangely dressed one-eyed man striding through the woods that brings the spiral team to the area. Is this the alleged spirit of former Dorking eccentric Major Peter Le Bellier? When he died in 1800, he was buried upside down on Box Hill, a place he loved so much. Although today, Alexis, Mark and Kathleen have trouble locating his gravestone. It's quite a way down, there's like a patch of grey that we've got walk past us taking photos of the map so we don't get lost because there isn't one to take. Good thinking. Um, yeah, I think it's either, yeah, it's got to be down there still. Using dowsing rods, Mark manages to find the grave. What feels weird? You, like, if you look, um, from your hand against it, it feels really like... Is it mossy? Mm, yeah. It's probably slime, isn't it? He was a fine eccentric character who uh, lived in the Dorking area in the uh, 18th century. But he did like coming up to Box Hill quite a lot though lone walks and meditations. In uh, one of his walks, uh, he tripped and fell on a spike, which unfortunately gouged his eye out. Uh, and we think from the result of that accident, he actually did die uh, and was buried here on the 11th of July, 1800, and was buried in this spot here, upside down, according to tradition. Um, the reason for being buried upside down was that he thought that the world was topsy-turvy, and when he came uh, back in the afterlife, the world would be the right way up. So what we're going to do tomorrow night is we're going to come here, uh, have a vigil around this gravestone, uh, which will be quite interesting, and see how we go and see if Major Peach would like to chat with us or we'll see what happens. We've got a really nice day today, the sun's shining and the conditions are absolutely lovely. It's pretty mild, There's no, it's not ex excessively hot or cold. Greystone's in nice condition, so we'll see what actually it brings to our night. I'm feeling a little bit, well, I'm feeling like I'll get really nervous when it gets dark. We're at Box Hill at the moment, and it's just before sunset. Um, and we're preparing to go on a stroll, uh, and Mark's going to show us the site where we're doing the vigil tonight. So it's very exciting. As nightfall descends over the area, Alexis, Mark, Hannah, Lisa, and Byron head towards the gravestone. Weather yesterday. Oh yeah. The... Today has been mostly rainy, and now is quite dry. Except it's very muddy. Yeah, it's a bit, isn't it? Yes. So we've got the tombstone is still in a very, very good condition. Yes. Well, someone has written on it. Which I think yes, it's a little bit that yesterday. I think so as well. Mm. Actually, I think it's very disrespectful. So here we are on our first outside investigation. Mm. It'll be interesting to see how it's all going to pan out. We're going to be standing out here and if it's either dew or rain from earlier on, it's going to start dripping and we'll be like, oh, it's a light or well, actually it's not. It's just the camera reflecting the white. Mm. Mm -hmm. White? Water drops. <laughs> Although if, so it, if we do get catch any light anomalies that are going upwards, then that might. Yeah. Like we did it. But, but if the he's with Peter's theory is right, then water should go up because he's been buried downwards. I so like, maybe water will raise up around this tombstone. I like your Who reasoning. Knows what's going to come? I Who like knows? your reasoning. Who knows? But we are outside, so that means if... There's the whole dust thing. It's um, easily explained. Yeah. Like it could, also, it could with wind. It's the trajectory go of, the, of any light anomaly because if it's quite blowy, it's going to go blow over the place. Yeah, if it doesn't, then you think, aha. Uh -huh, yeah. 
What is that so all about? There's going to be an array of noises though, because of all the trees and noises. the wind. And people walking around cars. Yeah. So. We do have our mobile phones on today because obviously it's quite scary being in the woods dark other. at night and we mm. don't want to lose each other. So yeah. hopefully we'll be staking some still shots as well on our phones mm -hmm. to try and get. No, you can't. That's true. National Trust will be a little bit peeved. Mm. Yeah, so we yes. started a bushfire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was her idea. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Sniffles. Yeah. Sniffles. Sniffles. Miss Medium didn't see it coming. <laughs> so, although we know the background area, as was stated yesterday, we know preliminary, I can't say that word, findings, both Hannah and Lisa and Byron haven't got a clue other than what's written on the tombstone about Peter. So it'd be interesting to see what they come up with and what feelings mm -hmm. they have tonight. Okay. So the pressure's on, <laughs> the pressure's on you guys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How do you say and that? The on Peter. Preliminary. Yeah, yeah, and the pressure's on Peter to deliver. Preliminary findings. Preliminary. Peter. Excuse the pronunciation. How about the air? If you are here, if you do wander around this land you love so much, and you don't mind us being here. Give us a sign. Anything? Touch one of us. Uh, a noise. Tap your gravestone. I don't know if there's anything to, like, not to say so for the camera. I'm feeling absolutely nothing. He was a major. Uh, of course. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> That's interesting. No, but that could just be because of your hands get very hot. Mark. My hands are very hot, aren't they? Compared to Hannah's. That's yeah. probably because I've been had my hands in my pocket. Okay. Um, but it feels like they're getting hotter. <laughs> That's because your hands are now giving off heat. That's true. Yes. That's just probably um, mm. nervousness. Um, kind of the, the uniform, navy blue, white sash. He's got a beard. Um, this could be anything, so I'm just going with what I'm visualising. Uh, a long stick in his hand, and he's pointing the stick out behind Mark across the hill. So if I envision him standing in front of me now, my way up. <laughs> um, and it's kind of pointing a stick across towards Dorking. He looks very happy. I can visualise him with a big smile on his face. <laughs> yeah, I just feel totally at peace. Thank you. There's no feeling one feel way or the I other. I don't feel any anxiety. I feel really mm. relaxed. The only thing I'm thinking is like, ooh. I got a feeling in my side early on that no, that was anything relevant. My right hand side. A bit of wind. <laughs> yeah, probably a bit of wind. But actually, it was colder when we were walking along earlier on, but it's now quite sort of warm. Pleasant. If there's any spirits here, can we ask them to come close? We don't mean them any harm. We just want them to share with us their thoughts and feelings. During the vigil, Alexis started to feel vulnerable about being in the middle of the woods in the dark, although this fear was nothing to do with the paranormal. I now don't feel so comfortable here. Why? I don't know. in your face. <laughs> no, I just really don't feel very comfortable here. It's alright, relax. Fine. No, not because of this. I feel like there's other people in the woods. Really? Yeah. I keep hearing bits of woods crack. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's the wind. Or people banging. Mm. I know I'm being a pain in the arse, but it is getting dark and stuff like that. Can we not spend too much time here? Mm. I really do feel uncomfortable. I, I really I don't like out? it. I think because of also the, just the safety element, it's no, I don't think. Things like the where the fault is, it's alright, it's right by yeah. the shops. So. Like any time you want to go, it's absolutely great for me. I really feel uncomfortable. Mm. Just relax. Just, yeah, you'll be fine. Relax. relax. Put yourself in your mind, visualise that you're in a little bubble. Yeah, but I know we're not. No, we're in the middle of places where people have been murdered. I don't really feel comfortable being here. What's that one thing? Oh, it's all right. It's like no point to say that, 
it's like, yeah, let's go with it. It is absolutely so, nothing to do with Peter. I do not feel as if there's anything threatening that side of it. I don't feel safe here, as in people that are living, I don't feel safe here. In which case, I think for safety reasons, we move on. With the circle closed, the team move on to the old fort. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> 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 Have your talkies out as well, please. Just get a picture of a little girl in a corner. Okay. Here. Here. Oops. Someone just sitting in a corner. He said, actually, this was a. Um... The fault. It was a storeroom. Storeroom. For caretakers. Yeah, it's not even quite. It's not actually that old. Like that. Yeah, it is. How old is it? 1899. 1899. So, so yeah. Warn oh, people when you do that. <laughs> Five on tender hooks. Sleep, break off the gate. Mm. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. What, on here? Yeah. yeah. So nice. tell you what, what's Speak horrible is the little holes in the doors. I don't think it's like... Breathing holes. Yeah, horrible, aren't they? Yeah, let's yeah. just stop. Let's just give have a stop here and just talk for uh, just be quiet for a second. Can you hold hands? Yeah, but I'm not having, I'm not looking into that. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Do you want the, 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 the torch as well? Is there a beast of Box Hill? Uh, mm. being There's only here. a tradition. Is there? Yeah, it's like a myth more than yeah, a tradition. I've isn't never it? heard of that. Ever myth? Ow, blinded me. <laughs> <laughs> Why the beast of Box Hill which is you with a cold? <laughs> no, yeah. that would be quite oh, God, no. There's, There's beasts everywhere. Beast is in yeah. that. I just keep getting a little girl in a corner, but I think that's probably... What feels? Yeah. Okay. I remember of a guy, right, say he was a caretaker, mm -hmm. and all and the grass and stuff. He's, it's really random, but if he could say anything, he would say, I wish people would pick up their coffee and tea cups. Quite right too. I don't know why the hell it came into my head. Because there's but coffee and teacups been thrown in there. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Uh -huh. oh, see, that's just Sorry. annoying because I've had a coffee sauce. Ruining it again, Lex. Sorry. <laughs> really? That's what, that's what you need. Well, I get just... the impression, right, that there's a guy around here. I don't know. I don't know if that's his name, but he's not. And, uh,. Obviously, this is why loads of people come because there is a cafe up here and he's very annoyed about the fact that people litter the place. But I also get the kind of image that when people pick the king and he likes watching people play the frisbee <laughs> and that kind of thing. I imagine he's a caretaker pretty quite recently. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, use my crystal to see if we've got any spirits around here. I think we're all aware that as we're outside, it's a little bit more difficult to detect if anything's happening. We've been a bit. Are there any spirit people in this vicinity, in this area? Could you indicate by swinging this pendulum round? Or swing it for no? It's a swinging opposite one. Usually goes so clockwise. Thank you, there it is. Mmm, quite long. Well. Could you stop the crystal, please? Keep it straight. There's lots of happy spirits up here because they've all had good times. It's good memories, isn't it? But you said you felt uneasy earlier. Did no, I didn't feel uneasy because of spirits. I felt scared up here because of horrible, foul people that are alive today, not because of those that have passed. How did you feel, Byron? It's only like, I think there was any witches or anything that were. All right. Oh, I'm sure there was one. Oh, yeah, pretty cold. Now. Yeah, not too bad. Witches yeah. Or, um... With nothing significant occurring on this investigation, the team called it a night. Catching anything paranormal is a patient process and not every location is going to deliver. <laughs>